What? Turn up for what? That's not a turn up for what yet, Miss Michelle. <laughs> Miss Vasquez! Ugh. Tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? Are you, you a she dog? Ate the bone too. I think I know how. <laughs> <laughs> the, bone too. the only answer. <laughs> you ate a boneless steak. Why would you say eat a boneless steak? That'd be like pointless. That helps your case so much, though. Uh, you didn't eat the steak, man. You didn't eat any steak during that break. Wait, wait a second. Didn't um, Salmonella say he went to go eat like steak or whatever afterwards? Mm -hmm. anyway? yeah. yeah. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator. Ah, uh, I see. Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Probably smoking cigarettes. Also, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Duh. She was meeting the Steel Samurai. Ugh. She was meeting with the Steel Samurai. What? The Steel Samurai? I love that show. River. Order. Uh, are you saying? Yeah, Your Honor. As you, as, as Miss Vaz, who has the chili, eat her steak. She ran into the Steel Samurai! And then you did it. <sighs> you killed him with your own hands! Three explosion Whoa. points! Oh my Damn, God. that's a huge, like, turn of events. M Mr. Fried. Is isn't that a little presumptuous? Objection! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull here, right? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it. Yeah. Ugh, fascinating. <laughs> and here I was, worrying that today would be boring as all the rest. Mm, very well, let's have a battle with this, you and I. Okay. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Thank you. Let's see, uh, who was that murder weapon again? Oh yes, the Samurai Spear. Yeah. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? Uh, I leveled Vex. Hey, I'm gonna look at the court record really quick. So do we know positively it was that or maybe it could have been the fence? How is it possible why well So are you saying it wasn't the samurai spear? Well, I mean the spear and the fence could both make a similar puncture wound. True. So... I would say you couldn't. Plus, well, didn't something happen to the spear? It broke, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So that's probably not the case, then. So, she couldn't have. You couldn't, could you? That's what clicked. I think you would have had a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. Pretty much anyone would. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. However, that is no bearing on this case. Meaning? Mm -hmm. The samurai spear was not the murder weapon! <laughs> Rabble! Rabble! <laughs> Bam! Suck my dick! Of justice. What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. I'm going to assume I used that five year old photo. Because, uh,. Give him the van. <laughs> Take this entire van, sir. <laughs> uh, would you say it would be the five-year-old photo? No. Hmm. Shit. That's all I really have. Um. Why don't we use this spear? I'm just trying to think of what the what we have that would even say that it wouldn't be that. A break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Hmm. 
Uh, I don't know. I wasn't here before. I, I don't know the context. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you wouldn't really know too much about this situation. Plus, I'm on the defense. Fuck uh, you. <laughs> Good point. Then again, so is Russ, so... Fuck. Um... I mean, there is the van, but... <laughs> yes! I, yeah, I don't know how that would help! Shit! What do you think, Snake? Yeah, Snake. I'm the judge. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. Maya, help me out here. Uh, Use Scott your fey was, powers. Scott was pretty on the right track. With the van? No. <laughs> Other suggestion. Use the actual spear. Use the actual spear? Because it was broken? Exactly, that's why you couldn't use it. Yeah, that's the whole point. Oh, true. Yeah. I'm checking this shit out, I have no idea what's going on. I'm dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, presenting the samurai spear. Take that! Take that! I present my proof. The so-called murder weapon. <laughs> but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast, edgy boy. Uh, but I gotta go fast. I understand. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through? <laughs> but someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady, Miss Oldback. She's so cute right there, right? She fixed it <laughs> with duct tape. Now tell me. How is it possible for someone to stab a man who's wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Whoa, through the oh, chest. Wow, 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 wow. Order. Order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Thinking about what you're... Silence! I'm the one testifying you and I will be heard. <laughs> God damn it. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? Oh, that's you. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that was you. No, that's you. That's oh, yeah. It's it. Oh, that was weird. Uh, if the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Fry, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hoomer? Now I present the photo? Heck yeah. Yeah, I can tell you. Would I make a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was? I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Fratt. Very well. Let's see this murder weapon, then. Five-year-old photo. <coughs> Take that! Look at this photo. Graph. You feel like laughing? <laughs> what, what is this? What? That's Jack Hammer standing standing at the top of the stairs. The stairs? Oh my god. Oh wow, I don't know about it boy. Uh, order! Order! <laughs> if I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended, Mr. Wright. What is this all about? Well, let me tell you. This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Not a word if this was leaked to the outside. It was a close kept secret at the studios. <laughs> what does this have to do with the current case? Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it, huh? Cause you're a big dummy face. I just don't want to lose. I understand. <laughs> But you see the man falling that's falling Turn in this photo, up. and that's turning up right now? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest. What? Are you saying? Yeah. What happened five years ago? Has happened again! Oh. <laughs> Mr. Fried, continue. You got it, buddy. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss Steve Vasquez meets the jackhammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She done pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. 
Just like Mr. Hammer did it himself! Because he did someone else. Five years ago! Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I can't say. <laughs> In other words, the, the victim Jack Hammer! You died the same way as it caused another man to die! Five years ago?! Yeah, precisely. Ironic, isn't it? I think it's coincidental, actually. Right, right, my bad. Oh, oh very creative, Mr. Wright. He's use a man like you in my scriptwriting staff. You deny that what I say is true. Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the span of a 15-minute break? It's you, Cray. How could I dispose of the body? <sighs> Dummy. The break in the meeting and the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Mr. Homer have been pushed on off the stairs to his death? Then carry to Studio One and place inside his costume. This wasn't a time. <sighs> Indeed. Well, Mr. Fright, how could she have dealt with the body? There's a fucking fan! Ah, she had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body other than her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. <clears throat> and there was a way for you to carry that body, ma'am! <laughs> Interesting, let's consider that. Mr. Fred, please show us how she carried the body. You gotta check out this van, it's like for soccer and stuff. Yeah, I gave you that evidence. Yeah, take it! <laughs> <sighs> Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it. Uh, a van? Oh, stocks are going down. Recall your testimony. Everybody sell global studios. <laughs> it was to be a rehearsal afterwards. We went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. It was a van there, right? I, I, I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body in the Magistrate costume! Uh, OBJECTION! Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manella who drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Oh, maybe. I'm not positive, though. Dude, he could she, she's, she's always, like, wasn't in... Pooter say he always she says jump and he says how high? <gasps> You're right. Of course he was. Yeah, Salmonella is, has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the steel samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammers' blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Ugh. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? Baka? Thank you, Senpai. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Raichen. Mm hmm. I lose, you win. It was fun. I'll enjoy the death penalty now. I. When? I guess you win. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what happens next? Eh? Don't, eh, me? Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost s something like that? I just said that. <sighs> Wait, so you mean... D Vasquez! So, it was you! You killed Jack Hammer! Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I 
I just work here. <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? Huh? You sure I did? Mr. Wright? You just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle? You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. But, right. that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. I didn't even let you talk. Get wrecked. Uh. You lack discipline, Mr. Wright. And proof. Uh, 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 uh. What? Order. Again. Mr. Edgeworth. Your thoughts? Um, uh, I can't think. Oh, of course, it's as the witness says. Um, well, certainly it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. No proof. Uh, uh, Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came there as a witness today. If you have no more questions, I'll be leaving. Erk, what do I do now? <clears throat> oh, shoot. Testify again, maybe? Turn up for what? Also, yeah. thank you, Michelle. Yeah, testify again. Ugh. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again. No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before, the truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Uh... You'd ask the same questions, get the same answers, a waste of time. Uh, damn. DAMN! It's come so far, only to fail all the hell fail. He's gonna lose! As it seems, there are no further questions. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. OBJECTION! Yes, Mr. Edgeworth. I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I see. Oh, Very well. OBJECTION AGAIN! <laughs> Your Honor! I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness! I, uh, I just want to hear your testimony again. This doesn't make any sense to you, Your Honor. I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I too see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly do you want her te to testify about? Well, yes, um, uh, indeed, verily I say, ergo, other fancy words. I want to hear about what happened after they found the body, yes, um. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerned in this matter. <laughs> Nick! Why did Edgeworth... Dude, real talk? Edgeworth seems like a pretty nice guy. He's just a dick. He's like Vegeta. Yeah. That's pretty cool. He's, he's an enemy, but a good guy still. This is weird. Yeah. Who knows? He probably realized that she did it too. But... But... Wasn't he the one who said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that... Edgeworth... finding the body. Yes, hmm. I was with Sal and Old Bag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, and then Powers showed up. The security lady, Old Bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. I see no issues raised by this testimony. Mr. Fried, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close. Real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, 
She's sure to falter. Find the key you need to and twist the truth out of her neck. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't see any real reason to press on the first one. I mean, mm -hmm. I could. I just don't see a reason to. Right. The system was there too, only Powers was absent. Um, and we know why he was absent, because he yeah. was asleep. So, I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. Mm. I feel like we gotta press some of these. Did... <sighs> well, maybe we can get something out of it. Mm -hmm. Let's press I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. Hold it, Hold it please! What was everyone doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent. Completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry! Sorry I'm late. Then silence. Dead silence. Uh, uh, <laughs> Rabble. <Rabble>. Silent. <laughs> hey! Hey, Nick! Yo, Nick! Why is everyone so quiet? Don't you do something to lighten things up? Yeah, I feel like- I need a boyga. Okay. Securely, old bag was quite agitated, pointing at power, saying he did it. That- that contradicts what you just said about silent. So, I'm gonna press that. Hold it. Old bag. The security lady. Why did security lady think Pooters had done it? He said she's- because she saw him going toward the studio. The Steel Samurai. Um, there's no reason to press harder on this, but I guess we could. Well, I mean, there's do you remember? Contradicts. Do you remember why? Like, okay, Miss Oldbag thinks it thought it was uh, powers because why? Because it was the costume. And we proved that it couldn't have been Will Powers in the costume, right? Right. Mm. So we can press harder. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Did the detective arrest Mr. Pooters based solely on the security lady's word? Perhaps not. She seemed to have also given the detective that photograph. Of course, I heard all this after the fact. That photograph? <laughs> Meaning the one taken by the security camera? She's not known for exhibiting the best sense of judgment when it comes to Hummer. <sighs> I don't think there's anything in there I can use. Huh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> As we left our proceedings, go and press you on that. Hold it. You asked to be left out. Yes. It seems that everyone else is questioned, and I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. <sighs> but you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting. There was no way we could have been involved, thus they covered for us. Covered for you? Or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot riding on it, with all those bigwigs at the meeting. I'm sure professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require questioning. Uh, pressing this one. All that. Hey. The script's in your direction notes. Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. I press harder. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a, there was a murder. <laughs> Could think of rehearsing after that. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Very well. Miss Vasquez, please continue. Objection! I like Your that. Your honor! I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? I think Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because she wouldn't be at the rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? 
she would have known uh, know about the murder before she going to Studio One. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> that makes very good sense, Edgeworth. Order twice, Mister Edgeworth. Oh uh, yeah. What have or what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the 